All right, what is up, you guys? It's the Sandman, back at it again. We're reacting to some Van Halen once again, guys, off the Van Halen 2 album. Soon we're going to move on to the next one. Um, and this is has some real, real amazing eye-opening stuff that I've heard, man. So make sure to check out the channel. Songs like DOA, um, Somebody Get Me a Doctor, Dance the Night Away, all on my channel. Really awesome stuff. You're no good as well, the live version. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited to hear Bottoms Up, man. I think it's one of the opening tracks, so let's go. Right away, another infectious riff off this off this album, man. Um, I like how he plays off that same riff pat, like that double stop pattern. I think uh, I'm actually looking at the tabs right here. Um, he's really doing a lot of like double stop, using his like extra string to get on dun 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 something like that, like doing that, and then sometimes he play he oh, brings the bass string. Uh, lower string open um so dun, 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 you know what i mean so it's a cool cool trick that he's doing and he the way he builds tension um in the pre-chorus i love the pre-choruses on this album too because they really in the background like instrumentally there's some really great like building of tension going on that that's like um that david is really sings over so well so I really like that. I feel like it's a great, uh, great way they put those pre-courses together, man. Um, but let's go back because that solo was, like always, just a killer solo. Let's go. Let's Oh, sorry. Hear how the bass plays in tandem with everything, man. I love the bass on the drums, too. Uh, the extra. I love how um, the timing just works so well. So it's easy to hear it once, uh, once the singing stops. So here we go. Listen to how it works together. Ah.
Okay. Let's dissect that solo, man. You know what time it is. Let's go. Love how it leads into it. Look at that. I love that. It's like a bend and catch effect going on. Um, or it might be a whammy bar. I don't have no clue, man. Some of these tricks that he does is too advanced for me to even comprehend. But uh, Which is why may, maybe more live versions of these songs are worth looking at. So let's go. <laughs> that it's like getting sucked into a vortex that last part and by the way this is all okay i'm looking at the effects it's uh, played with a flanger and a phaser yep phaser very signature van halen effect that does not surprise me the flanger i actually have i am not too familiar with what that sound effect does but i think it really shows itself when he does the slides um and it's kind of like high tech effect i guess maybe not high tech is the right way to do it right way to describe it but some of these like more uh hmm, let's just listen for it and try to identify it. like that part So, the solo is an A. Hold the bend while tapping. That, that's what, okay. So, I'm looking at the tablature. So, he's like bending up a note, I think somewhere. Uh, yeah, but he's holding up a note, I think on the 7th fret or something like that. And he's just like tapping up here. Like he's, he's uh, holding the bend right here. It's just tapping. Like that, I think. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. I see a lot of open string pull-offs going on as well. Dive bomb. Um, yeah. Nicely done, man. Really, really cool. Really, really cool track. Nice and sort to the point. It's a great party song. Bottoms up. Uh, get the ladies around, get the girls around, man, it's time to party, we're rock stars, you know what I'm saying, um, I love it, I love it, let's go to that second verse, I just want to pick up on his rhythm guitar playing a bit, uh, but yeah, I mean, of course, David Lee Roth's personality shines through the song, the drumming's very, very, uh, I love the bass drumming in the song, uh, the bass drums going on in the, in the, in the drumming as well. Really cool, really cool. I never really noticed that before, but the playing style on the drums is very interesting as well to follow along to. So let's go to verse two, just to hear the rhythm playing in the back after this chorus. <laughs> Look at that, right in sync. Right in sync with the playing. I love it. Hey, oh. So a chromatic descending. Da -da 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 -da. Baby, Almost like blues. Da 
So it's like a blues turnaround almost. Um, really cool. So it looks like it's the F sharp is the minor, A, a major uh, scale going on too based on the two solos. So I don't know. That's my guess. But who cares really? It's, it's a good track, man. Very good feel-good song. I love it. Um... Of course, the bass playing over the rhythms, the rhythm over the solos, so uh, it was very good, very very good. Um, yeah, man, that's got nothing else mo more to say. Sandman checking out, bottoms up, great track, Van Halen for life, peace. <laughs>